My name is Trip Clark. I'm Prentisor, and the book is Pittsburgh Born, Pittsburgh Bred. Well, now, this is a book about 500 Pittsburghers who changed the world. What prompted you to take on a project like this, Trip? Prentice was uh, the leader of this project, so why don't you tell us what uh, started you on this? I, I always thought one thing that was missing in the popular culture of Pittsburgh history were the unsung heroes, people like uh, Jay Livingston, who uh, uh, wrote uh, Christmas carols like Silver Bells. Who would have ever known that he was a Pittsburgher? Um, people like Oscar Levant, who were incredibly popular in their time, but I don't think people by and large across the country knew he was a Pittsburgher. Um, sports heroes, we have uh, basically anybody who achieved any kind of fame other than those who are captains of industry or politicians yeah. are pretty much captured in the book. But, but there are a lot of household names, people that everybody uh, knows but didn't realize was from Pittsburgh. Uh, who are some of those people? Well, absolutely. Well, the one that seems to get the most attention is, is, is Demi Moore. And, and the time that she spent living in Pittsburgh. But uh, there's a lot of uh, actors, a lot of great musicians, um, a lot of uh, politicians that, that um, people just didn't know were from this area. And, and it was, you know, the research that we went through for months and months, digging up these names, and we would come to our meetings and discover somebody new, even as, as writers. And did you know this person was from Pittsburgh? And it was, it was a lot of fun. It was, uh, well, and this, of course, was done just in time for the 250th anniversary of uh, Pittsburgh. And are there some, uh, just rattle off a few names that might surprise people uh, who are Pittsburghers. Um, Billy May, in, 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 very instrumental in jazz scene. Uh, 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 boy, this is, uh, we can edit this. Jump in. Yeah, Sammy, jump in. Yeah. Sammy Nestico. Sammy Nestico. Uh, we're, uh, we're talking people like, um, oh, man. <laughs> there are just so many. Well, there are just so many. I mean, yeah. uh, from uh, Christina Aguilera to uh, Jimmy Stewart lives well, in uh, the area. Just go through the cover here. Oh, yeah. Frank Gorshin, famous for being the Riddler on Batman. Uh, we have Lurch from uh, uh, TV shows The Adam Family. Um, Shirley we, Jones. Shirley there. Jones, yeah. Sharon Stone. Sharon Stone. Uh, Mr. Yuck. George Benson, Mr. Yuck. <laughs> Uh, the Heinz Pickle, George Romero, of course, we all know that. Um, well, Bozo was created out of... Uh, all right, now, now wait, what's the deal with Bozo? He was born here? Uh, Bozo is actually very interesting. Uh, I told you about Jay Livingston, who wrote Silver Bells. His brother was instrumental in writing children's records. Um, and to get these into the classroom, they realized they needed a central figure to tie them all together. And they came up with the idea of a clown being that person. And so Bozo the Clown was invented by a Pittsburgher, and in fact the music was composed by another Pittsburgher, Bill, Billy May, for Capitol Records at the time. The same, very same person, Alan Livingston, um, was instrumental in bringing the Beatles to the United States. He signed them to Capitol Records. Right. right. Well, it's an amazing compendium. I know everybody I know has it on their coffee table, and it's a great present for out-of-town uh, guests who uh, don't quite get Pittsburgh. Once they read Pittsburgh Born, Pittsburgh Bred, they get it. They get it. It, it is the per perfect book uh, for expats who don't live in Pittsburgh now, and we hear this all the time. People buy this as Christmas presents to send it to some wonderful friend from Pittsburgh, from Pittsburgh who no longer lives in the city. Guys, congratulations. Thanks for being here. Thanks very much. Thanks, Andy. Thank you.